Facebook has. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a template using your notes page to calculate the arc length and area of a sector. So I'm going to be using this question up here um, to create our template. So you're given the sector, the angle bounded by this sector is 265 degrees and the radius is 5 centimeters. We need to find the arc length and the area of this sector. So the first thing that I would like you to do is to check to make sure that the calculator mode is in degrees since the angle given up here is in degrees. So if you look at the top right hand corner here, my calculator mode is in DEG, meaning degrees. Sometimes your calculator is actually in radian mode as RAD and this mode is something that you don't want to um, use. In order for you to change radian back to degrees, we simply use our cursor and we click on it, it will change it to degrees. Now down here, I've got my notes page up already. As you can see, is actually um, the border is actually in yellow, telling you that we are in a notes page. So I'm going to give this as a title. So let's do arc length and area of a sector. So first, I'm going to type the general rule for the arc length in terms of theta as the angle bounded by your sector and then little r as the radius of your sector. So first, every entry that or every single calculation that you do on a notes page, you must do it inside the math box. So I'm going to call out my math box by pressing control, the letter M. And I'm going to give this as a name, arc length. Um, keep in mind as well, when you're trying to assign names, you must write it as one word without any space in between. So I've got arc length and it will be in terms of the variable theta. So in order for you to get theta, we press the pi button, which is situated at the bottom left hand corner here. For you to navigate to theta, you just keep on pressing the pi button until theta is highlighted, you then press enter. I also have radius as well, so meaning it's just little r, so I'm going to press little r there. And then I close my bracket. I need to assign this as its general rule, so by pressing the assign button. Now arc length, um, if you think about it, it's just simply a fraction of the full complete circumference of your circle, isn't it? So in order for you to get that fraction, you know, some angle out of 360 degrees, multiply by the formula of full circumference of circle 2 pi r, so when you're just going to call out the fraction template, so by pressing control division button, and the angle theta will be the angle bounded by your sector. So we've got theta there on our numerator. We then press tab over 360 degrees, right navigation button, multiply this by 2 pi r. So pi is just here multiplied by my radius r and then I press enter. So the calculator will store this arc length rule in for me in terms of theta and radius. Now um, once I've pressed enter can you see that um, the calculator actually have already a math box ready for me to input my calculation. Sometimes this math box will go missing though. If that's the case um, all you got to do is just press control the letter m again and it will bring up the math box for you. So I'm going to use the above question here and trying to work out my arc length. So I'm going to press variable button and I already have arc length there and I will just going to type what theta equals to, meaning it will be 265 comma and I'm just going to type in what radius equals to, it is 5 and then I press enter. So the calculator will calculate the arc length of the above sector for me. So meaning just this curved length only as 265 pi on 36. Sometimes um, you might need to convert this answer as a decimal or an approximate answer. 
So what you do is I would like you to go back to this int uh, this calculation math box and towards the end of your input, the input is whatever is highlighted in blue here. And I would like you to press control enter and that will convert it to a decimal answer. Alternatively, sometimes you would like to convert this decimal answer back into exact form if that's the case. So we're just going to press our cursor at the end of our input um, and then just go control, enter, enter. And that will then going to bring it back into exact form. So that's a little template right there for you to work out the arc length of your sector. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create another template that will allow me to work out area of a sector. So again, let's call out our math box. So I'm going to go area sector for short, open my bracket. Area sector is just simply, again, very similar to arc length. It's just a fraction of the area of a full complete circle pi r squared. So that's the case. I have my theta again. So I'm going to call up my theta because it'll be in terms of two variables and then comma little r as my radius. And I'm going to use the assign button and then I'm going to type in the rule. So my area of a sector is just a fraction of the area of my full complete circle. So theta over 360, right navigation button, multiply by pi r squared. So once you've typed in that general rule, the calculator will remember that for you. You then go hit enter. So I'm going to use the above um, sector to calculate the area. So I'm going to use my variable button again and this time it's area of sector and then I'm going to type in my theta as 360 degrees comma my radius as 5 and then I press enter. So it spits out a exact answer for me as 25 pi. If you would like to convert this into an exact uh, approximate answer sorry so we go control enter and it will convert as a decimal answer for you. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you.